Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Blue Pill Reaction Series. I'm your host, Reggie Had. Today, what's the topic that we're going to talk about today? Well, today's topic, it's all about SJW. Now, who are the SJW? You may have heard of it and you may have not. So, to those who have never heard what the SJW are, the case is a bit different because it's the Blue Pill Reaction Series. This show has been such a great success. People love it. All of you love it. So today, I better smart myself up because, uh, well, it's the show. I am the host. The host has to smart himself up, innit? Well, the SJW stands for Social Justice Warrior. Now, you might think, oh, it sounds like someone from the law. No, not really. It's the left-wing side of deluded people, okay? The ones who follow the left-wing agenda and they push it onto other people. And uh, let's just say that the majority of uh, SJWs are... Liberals, let's get on straight with it, shall we? With this platform, why are you advocating for, as a black person, black people's rights in the United States? Like, underprivileged people's rights in the United States? Like, well, like there's so much you can be advocating. Hold up. Okay, okay, let me get this straight. So she was saying that black people did not have rights. As of 2023, I am pretty sure they do. Where do you get your sources from? How do you guys feel about schools teaching gender ideology to students? Absolutely against it. You're against there it? You. Why? Nice. Because it confuses children. Innocent children are impressionable, and when you poison that well, you can never take that poison out. My opinion is that it's too much information at one time. There's plenty of other things that children should be focusing on rather than getting confused about their identity. The school shouldn't be doing it for them. You know. I mean, hey, they use common sense. They used much common sense, okay? Because it's true. Why at an age of like four, five, six, or even maybe maybe as far as 14, you're getting taught about these gender identities when this kind of shit, not all, it shouldn't only be taught. At least it should be taught maybe never. It should never be taught, as a matter of fact. So fucking done with this world. I'm so tired. And? Listen, lady, 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 before you keep on screaming, make sure to inhale some of that inhaler before you run out of breath, okay? You'll be, you'll collapse in your car before you take that inhaler, man. I'm the only one doing anything in my house because they need me and your self is trying to take me away from them. And then she ran out of breath and didn't take her inhaler. Hey, you know what? I've, I've said my offensive stuff, man. I mean, many of you don't know, but um, I've actually received some hate comments, not on YouTube, but elsewhere on social media. I actually received a hateful comment on Facebook. Yes, I put my re I put my short on Facebook. Uh, I will make a separate video for it. Let's see if, it, if I gain any more hate. I know you're so oppressed, my dears. I know life is so hard for you. You have to- Wait, wait, wait. Let me guess. This has to be Michael Knowles. You know when Michael Knowles opened his mouth, it's always good. Live in the richest, most equitable, most just country in the history of the world. You have to get a college education. You have to voluntarily go to lectures. It's so awful. I can't imagine that, you know, the people, people who are in war to our nations, they might. Oh, whoa, whoa. <laughs> that ain't no Snorlax. That is Waylax, actually. That is Dynamax Waylax. There we go. Okay, that is the worst t-shirt at the moment. Holy shit. I'm sorry. You, I'm, I'm sorry. The majority of them don't even look good when it comes to dressing up. What happened to back then? You know, people, when they had to go on dates or somewhere, they wore suits. The only time people wear suits now are basically for weddings. I mean, I do get the idea that in weddings you have to wear suits. But why the hell do you have to wear Air Force One at a wedding? They created shoes, especially with a suit. Left is kicking and destroying the Bible, but not the Quran. Disrespectful. You know what? This is a hate crime. Do you realize you guys are committing a hate crime right now? You know what? Listen, I'm a Muslim myself, okay? I love Islam, especially. But the fact that you just, these guys decide to, you know, kick around a Bible, it's disrespectful. Especially, it's very disrespectful. Because I wouldn't mind reading the Bible. Alright, give me an orthodox Bible, 
I would read it. But these leftists, I let me tell you one thing, they're liberals. They don't care about religion. They don't even even follow religion. You know what they follow? Social media, the government, the agendas, all these kind of agendas that has nothing to do with religion. And yes, it is 100% a hate crime. Because the thing is, right, I have no problem with Christianity. What I do have a problem is the, is Pastor David Lin. Yes, he can, uh, what is it? He, uh, what do what do they do? Preach, right? He can preach as much as he want, but do not attack the fucking religion, man. Do not attack the religion because you're saying this and that just because you're a pastor. All right, David Lin, as a matter of fact, he got destroyed by Muhammad Hijab as well. Ma you can't trust me. Muhammad Hijab, at the moment, is unbeatable. But the most unbeatable of them all is Dr. Zakir Naik. <laughs> Honest, no, actually, with a the Quran, they would have 100% done it. Keep your sexual people are That's an SJW? Really? Keep your sexuals are asexual who still desire a sexual relationship, yet experience no sexual attraction. Some people may engage in a sexual relationship despite not feeling sexual attraction, while others don't. Both are valid and communication is key. Communication is key, yes, fine. But isn't, isn't what that is... All about the friend zone. Prosexual, and you're a man, and you said you wouldn't date a trans woman because it's a preference. That's just transphobia. <laughs> wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. That's just transphobia. <laughs> oh, sorry. Let me get this straight, lady. You are saying that if I don't date a trans woman who is a biological man, I'm transphobic. You know what? I'm proud to be transphobic. You know what? I might as well get a transphobic, uh, you know what? A, a t-shirt saying I'm a, I'm transphobic. The Joker has an SJW meltdown. Oh, I'm interesting. Died from a global pandemic. Children can't go to school without being murdered by a terrorist. An angry mob stormed the US Capitol. Black people can't go grocery shopping without being shot. <laughs> Nah, you can't be serious, Joker, man. I know Jacqueline Phoenix took your role, but it doesn't mean you have to go on a meltdown, is it? There was a massive investigation into the Southern Baptist Church for sexual assault and sexual- Can I just admit one thing? When the hell did Joker ever wore cat ears? Sexual abuse that goes back years with over 700 documented victims and over 200 people working in the churches. Trans people are having our rights taken away. People with uteruses are having our rights taken away. Betty White died, and you want me to go gross? Betty White died because she's a she's a legendary actress. She died for one reason because she's old. Everyone one day has to die. I don't know when I'm gonna die. I could die maybe tonight. I could die tomorrow. Maybe next year or the one after. I I get I get you. I get you're sad that uh, Betty White died. Okay, Betty White was an amazing actress, but. There's no need for you to have a meltdown about it because it's just reality. Shopping? You want me to put gas in my car and go to work? I don't want to live through any more history. I don't want to live through any more history. What? What? Go grocery shopping? You want me to put gas in my car and go to work? I it's the way of life. How are you gonna get from A to B without putting petrol in your car? And now we have electric cars, which are not the greatest. Okay. Uh, we can't deny Tesla, okay? Tesla are up there, just on another level. Are these protesters always posh little white kids? Yeah, without... Tell, tell me Because they're middle-class cha champagne socialists who have uh, well-off parents uh, who have brought them up to be... Yeah. Really but like Just Stop months. Oil, we are getting a trend now of posh little white kids causing problems and causing the taxpayer yeah. Problems. I can explain it to you perfectly. Uh, I don't know your name, but uh, I will say could you, I will call you GBN reporter. So, Mr. GBN reporter, let me explain to you why they're causing problems to our society here, especially in the UK. Here, especially in the UK, especially just stop oil because these middle class rich kids are bored with life. It just that's how summed up it is. They are at home, so looking at some. Bullshit, and then they join a group uh, call that basically says that oh we're helping with the climate when in reality they're doing absolutely jack shit about it. And now us as the taxpayer have to suffer because not only they're getting paid 
people doing this kind of shit. But we, but we as the taxpayers are suffering. Uh, twice, um, two men walked, opened the curtain, walked in on me. Um, it's unisex. What the hell does unisex mean? Universal sex means both men and women. There is no like separation like how they do in Arab countries. Actually, or even Primark. Well, you think that having unisex is good, but let me tell you one thing. Be careful with what you wish for. Let me tell y'all the like white supremacy and play that really allows a child to feel so protected and safe that they can do quite remarkable shit like this. Good for him. Uh, this kid doing gymnastics on a trampoline has nothing to do with white supremacy. Yeah, what? Yeah, wait, hold up. So, uh, hold up, hold up. So this guy on the left is saying that trampolining is white supremacy. Now, I don't live anywhere near a trampoline park. I used to, but I have never heard, never heard that how can a trampoline, something that you go up and down because it contains spring, has to do with white supremacy. It doesn't make sense, does it? To which I say again, make it make sense, please. Oh boy. Not use gendered language to to address everyone. James Jackson, Sacramento, he, him, Brian Lazar, he, him. Hi, I am Andy P uh, from Los Angeles, they, them pronouns. And now you wonder why Russia is laughing out at, at us. Why every time you have to introduce yourself, you have to say, hello, uh, hello, I am, uh, I am X, uh, my pronouns are they, them, I am Y. No! No, it doesn't work like that. And I'm gonna explain it to you, okay? The whole idea of pronouns came in the year of 2020. And what happened during 2020? We were all locked down, uh, shot into our houses, and bored with our lives. But the thing is that these liberals take took it to the next level. And what's the next level that I'm gonna talk about? Creating 100 genders, 100 LGBT flags, and a million uh, uh, pronouns. And apparently there's a new, uh, another one called Neo Pronouns, which I think I uh, explained it before. I'm going to show you, okay? I have this bottle of Perinase in my room. Yes, I do. Now, let's say they take the word Perinase and turn this into a pronoun. They can say Peri and Nase. This is how idiotic this sounds. Who's the current vice president? Kamala Harris. I love okay. her. Why? Why? Because she's black. That doesn't make any sense. Because she's black. So her reason why people voted for Kamala Harris is because she is multiracial. But I hope you do know that she has been fucking up the country quite a lot. Even her, what is it? Even her tour in Africa didn't go really well, did it? Because what did they have to show on the on the papers? Oh. Uh, here is, and showing, here is the 25 songs that Kamala Harris has been listening to on Spotify during her Africa visit. Did anyone ask? Do we even care? No. Why does that matter? No wonder, no wonder why the Western world is now considered the clown world. That video was from this week. It shows the vegan soy group in the UK calling themselves Animal Rebellion. Wait, wait. <laughs> I like how he said soy group. I like that reporter. And in it, they claim to have disabled about 50 transport trucks at a factory by bursting the tires. Oh my god, these guys are absolute morons. Actually, thank you for who to put up for my next episode. Oh, I need to write that on my notes. Oh man, thank you so much. Was it called Animal Rebellion? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, what's your name? Clown World. Thank you very much, Clown World, for putting up for the next one thanks to you the show uh, thanks to you the series will continue yeah because i don't know what to do next thank you very much editor here we go now the first one is from dimitri's dad uh, dagis so dagis this is absolute shite content by the way just for your information i'd be ashamed to release it in any capacity with my face front and center and i replied with Dimitri D uh, Dadges, oh, thank you. That is so adorable for you to say that. Yeah, I have to, I think, on my phone. <laughs> so, here is another one from Adam Clark. This is the other comment. It says, hey, quick question I had. Who asked? Like, seriously, who asked? If people want to be they, them, just try to be nice. And remember, if they get upset the first time, yeah, they're just a shitty person. Just because how would you, because how would you know? But after that, just treat people with respect. 
part of that is respecting their choices. Here is my reply. I said, no chance, mate. Anyone who uses the they, them are mentally challenged. <laughs> what else? If I'm going to get hate for this, go on. I can fire my shots anytime. Trust me, the only ones who deserve respect are the ones who actually do deserve respect. Because these are the same, the same type of people who don't, who don't respect soldiers. You know, the ones who fought in wars, war veterans who are homeless. Do they get respected? I don't think so. But your head pops off the pillow in the morning with, Oh, how can I be a professional victim today? Let me go in and screw with their act just because, oh my God, your parents didn't tell you that your opinion wasn't worth that much. Hey! <laughs> Steven Crowder coming in with the smoke. Look, look, they're confused. They're confused. You know why? Because I'm not your gender studies professor who has to cater to your trigger warning microaggression. Oh man, what's really annoying is how is gender studies a, a an option for university? It's the easiest subject. What the hell? How can you have a PhD or degree in gender studies? American progressives upset with lack of diversity on Chinese sports teams. What? 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 The, what are they gonna expect? A white anise? A black anise? In a Chinese team? No! They want native Chinese. Oh god. And of course it's America because America is the king of wokes. Canada is the queen of wokes. And. UK is the jack of wokes. Yes, I'm using playing cards uh, to give as an example. Let's use let let's use our quiet voices, please. Calm down. Because you talk like a child. Sorry, uh, I'm sorry, Triglypuff. What's wrong with calling a Snorlax, man? <laughs> uh, stop acting like a child, and I will. Hey, she said it. <laughs> Oh man, she's a hey, she's a genius, man. Honestly, this is how you have to talk to the SJW or these kind of people, man. <laughs> Why haven't I seen this on any of the social justice warriors pages that are dedicated to calling out racism and hate crimes? If the roles were reversed, this nation would come to a screeching halt. Oh, that is so true, man. Just because it's a black and white action, it's fine. If it's a black and brown, it's fine. If it's a black on yellow, it's fine. But it, uh, but if it's white on black, mate, whatever state uh, the mur uh, what is it, the killer is, all marching saying BLM, 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 Black Lives Matter, blah blah blah, spewing white slurs, man. It's such a, one of the shittiest double standards, man. It's so annoying. Like the social justice warriors are not really justice warriors. They are biased, especially. They are so biased. Social justice warrior, green hair, purple hair, way too many tattoos, overweight, 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 overweight. Is she? Wait, wait, wait. She is. Wait, wait. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Her name here says it's Katrina. So, Katrina, you are proud of being overweight. I am sorry, I have done an episode about fat phobia, okay? I'm sorry, but if you, trust me, if you want to dig up your early grave, be my guest, because I don't really care about you. But just because, just to show you that I care about you, is why are you so proud of being overweight? There's nothing to be proud about being overweight, okay? Just because you like McDonald's, Taco Bell, KFC, Popeyes, uh, Chick-fil-A, it doesn't mean be like, Oh, I, oh, you know what? I am overweight. Praise me. There is nothing good about it, okay? I am I am fat as well, and I hate being fat, okay? But let me tell you one thing. I was three, four years ago, I was this close to having high blood pressure. Ever since that then, I have been ta intaking so much less sugar into my diet. Being fat phobic is not only offensive, it's racist too. But this is our space. Wait, thank God the police are keeping us all safe. What do you mean? We've got a Police Lives Matter sticker and we're getting kicked out. Can't do school. You're making this you space uncomfortable. Oh, come on! Shut up with the feelings. 
But you're white. Do you understand what a multicultural space? It means you're not being centered. This is insane. So anyway, we're we not will. Kicking you out. We're asking you to leave if you have any consideration for people of color and are marginalized. So clearly you don't. Got it. What? What? Wait, wait, wait. So you're kicking these two guys out who have a sticker in the back saying police lives matter. Because trust me. The police are going through shit every day, especially in this country, especially in America, in Canada, and in France right now because of the uh, protest that's going on right now. You see all the right police in France who are so, like, done out there who, because, they, you know, they want to go back to their uh, home, and f uh, to the, uh, home, to their families, but they can't because of the protest that's going on. And now you have these morons kicking out two students who are sat down, uh, drinking uh, chick for uh, drinking and eating chick-fil-a which I don't which I never tried chick-fil-a because it's not in the UK yet and you guys are having a problem because you feel uncomfortable because he put police a uh, police lives matter on his laptop listen to me one thing you dykes all right we don't give a shit about your feelings okay I'm I'm being real okay no one cares about your feelings we care about the facts we can give you facts about why the police lives matter because the police are the reason why you're safe, okay? If you get robbed, you have to call the police. They'll deal with your case. But, there, but then, don't go and demonize the police. Gotta thank God for these social justice college students for coming in and saving the day, saving the whole university from this guy's whiteness and extremism. But What? Whiteness? You're white yourself. The fact that I have a master's in social justice tells me I know more than you. Racism is based in systemic violence. Um, full screen this, please. Thank you very much. So this one is written by three uh, red FX. Big up. Uh, and anyway, you're gonna be enough. Uh, anyway, you've already been being shouted. Anyway, the guy speaking about Snowflake is not wrong. He's not all wrong. Okay, yes, because he's a pro Democrat, he has to pull up some democratic facts. Though he conveniently leaves out major details, he says abolitionist, abolitionists created the term to represent whites who opposed slavery before, before the American Civil War. Fun fact, like today, it was uh, it was used to describe Democrats, not Republicans, like Abe Lincoln, who actually abolished slavery. Yes, he abolished slavery. Democrats fought the bloodiest war in his US history to keep slaves. After the Civil War, Democrats created the KKK and segregation. Ah, that's what it was, segregation. Uh, KKK, sorry. I forgot about the KKK and segregation. During Republican General Grant's presidency, he wiped out the KKK. But I mean, they still exist. Then during World War I, uh, President Wilson showed pro-KKK films uh, in the White House. That's true. It, it had a resurgence that is still going on today. In the 1950s, not 80% of African Americans' households had a father. Enter Democrat President uh, Lyndon B. Johnson after J JFK was killed. He created a welfare that basically... Uh, a welfare state that basically incentivized unwed women to have children and receive welfare. Basically not have a, a father present. Now it is Democrat pushing for segregation of blacks on uh, university campuses. You see a trend here, right? I'm an independent with a rare ability to think critically. To which I say, congratulations, man. I rate that. I rate that idea. You, honestly, and my response is the nicest way possible it's always too great learn it's always great to learn new things every day knowledge is power thank you very much for this information and it's also now thanks to him i learned more about the democrats of of their dark side especially listen 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 if someone wants to be overweight and want to dig up an early grave let them be it i mean if you don't like the gym go for a walk if you have a dog go for a do walk with your dog or if you have i don't know uh, a cat and your cat likes going outside put them on a leash go outside with them um, excuse me i'm actually just way hotter than you can you just go away oh damn yeah. it's like that uh, yeah it's really like that i'm actually just way prettier and you're not worth my time okay well actually no i've got a present for you actually oh. here we go why are you giving me plan b oh it's not for you it's for your mom just making sure she doesn't have any more accidents <laughs> well adam I like that. <laughs> I like that. Well, I'm going to have to conclude the video. Honestly, SJWs are a confusing bunch, okay? They are a confusing bunch of people. They are questionable 
and be idiotic, okay? Because they, ha because let me tell you one thing: SJWs are a mix of LGBT, feminism, uh, pro-life, pro-trans, a cab. If you know what a cab means, it stands for all cops are bastards. It's a mix of all those all coming together and says yes, we are now warriors. Well, uh, time to conclude the video today. It has been an honor to host this episode. I will see you guys in the next episode of the Blue Pill Reaction Series. This has been Reggie Had. I will see you guys next time. Bye 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 bye.